Welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. Most people doing business online these days recognize the importance of audio as part of the overall promotional content mix. Not only does audio provide an engaging point of interaction with your site content, it also lets you put a human voice to your site, its products, and or services to establish more of a personal relationship with your customers than just by using text. You can also communicate your own unique passion and enthusiasm far more effectively using a short audio recording than you ever could with plain text alone. For those inexperienced with the technical side of posting audio, however, it's hard to know the best way of going about this. After all, it's not as easy as recording a WAV file and posting it online. Fortunately, Excite Pro includes an audio wizard and built-in audio player that completely takes the guesswork out of this process. Getting started is easy. The only prerequisite is that you need an audio file, something you've previously recorded. There are lots of good podcasting and recording tools out there, some of which are free and some aren't. A good, free, all-purpose audio editor can be found here. Once you've got your audio recorded and saved, Simply return to Excite Pro and place your cursor where you'd like the audio playback controls to go. Then click the Insert Audio button on the toolbar, which, by the way, can also be accessed by going to Insert Audio Video and then Streaming Audio from the right-click menu. A quick four-step wizard appears and all the steps are really straightforward. The first step is to select an audio file, which can be a WAV, MP3, or WMA file. Just select it and now let's move on to the next step, which is format. This step is important if you, like me, prefer to record your original audio in an uncompressed format with as high quality as possible. Depending on length, this probably won't be appropriate for streaming on the web, so you need to decide what quality level to produce your streaming audio at. To make this easy to decide, each option shows the trade-offs between quality and file size. The higher the quality you choose, the bigger the resultant streaming audio file will be. Now, step three shows how the audio is played back. You can set it to play automatically when the web page loads, or only when the user explicitly clicks the play button. If desired, you can set the audio to loop, which means that it will automatically play over and over again until the user stops it. And setting the W mode to transparent means that the media player won't obscure any dynamic navigation menus on your page. The fourth and final step, Buttons, lets you decide just how much control over the playback to give your visitors. You get to decide which control buttons are available to them, and can even choose between two different color schemes. When finished, click Generate, and Excite Pro will do all the technical file conversion for you in the background, as well as embedding the playback controls into your page. The time it takes depends on the length of the audio. When ready, just preview your page. Welcome to Dogstail.com. If you've never before had a canine companion and you're now considering adopting a dog, you may be wondering what breed would be most compatible with your lifestyle. If so, you've come to the right place. If you ever wish to make a change to the format or any other setting, just right-click the audio player's placeholder and choose Audio Properties. In short, audio is an excellent way of projecting your knowledge and enthusiasm across the ether and Excite Pro makes delivering it a snap.